So, welcome to a general Eternium video. Probably not a great deal going to happen in this one. Um, in one of my earlier videos, uh, someone asked the question, how do you get your gems? Um, since I do, or did have, 30,000 gems at the start of this event, we've spent about 5,000 on AMB. Uh, over 2,000 on a very expensive experiment on my main account, uh, reforging some stats on a number of items, uh, and then when not liking the result, reforging them back to where they were. Um, so I should probably start off, this isn't the main source of income, but it uh, I think I'll mention this, the, the money route first. Get that out of the way, because the bulk of the gems actually come from gameplay. Um, now there's two things I've got going at the moment. The first is, uh, there's a daily gem package, 100 gems per day for 30 days. Um, so you have to log in each of those 30 days and every day when you log in there'll be an email sitting for you with 100 gems in it if you don't log in on a given day then you lose those 100 gems um, but over one month period that's 3,000 gems for £3.29 uh, I only ever buy this if it's a affordable and b that I can see a purpose or value in those gems. If if I can't get both of those uh, met, those those reasons, then that doesn't get bought. Um, there are other packages available. So 2,600 gems are 16 pounds 74 here. I can get 3,000 for 3.29. So none of the other packages to me look like a particularly good value. Uh, 83 pounds that's probably 99 dollars and 99 cents ouch um, I'm not telling you you should buy gems I'm not telling you you shouldn't buy gems uh, it's up to you if you have got the money you can afford it and you want to do it by all means go ahead uh, if you can't afford it or you don't want to that's absolutely fine and you'll be able to compete just as well without those um, so I get 3,000 in this month from that. Um, what I have done yesterday as a late Christmas present to myself is purchase the season pass. I've not collected any of these top tier rewards yet, which you can't do on an AMB character. Um, the reason for that is you have this gem bank sort of mentioned previously. Um, when you earn gems in game they will be matched to your season bank so when the season ends um, if you don't buy the season pass you'll probably get a thousand gems because they're easy enough to collect um, so in 70 days I should have this 10,000 easily filled and so I'll get 10,000 gems through that uh, which will be a nice bonus there are things in this top line of rewards that I wanted so the uh, custom jewelry boxes being part of that because I'm crafting some perfect experience jewelry for my main account experience farmer um, so once AMB finishes I've got three boxes coming out of that there's I think three boxes on this top row so that will be enough for me to craft a perfect ring without having to worry about spending millions and many tedious hours uh, buying and selling rings at the crafting station or at the uh, ring jewelry station I should say um, so that's the money route out the way and that does that is not the majority of where the gems come from um, what I do is I'm just trying to think that does take us back here um, if we take a look at say wispy farm which I said I was running five star story mode actually there was a reason I was on that character 
uh, we'll come back here. Um, so there's a bunch of other routes that you get gems um, for doing the story quests. And this is the only character at the moment that's got story quests to run. For example, this quest from the Arna will reward three gems. Over the course of the whole story, I think it's 140 gems for doing the whole story. So that adds up. Um, Wispy Farm is going to be deleted before the end of AMB. So the another way of getting a lot of gems, there are 55 maps uh, across the four worlds. As you see, for run one, you'll get one gem. Run two awards one gem. Run three is two. Run four is two gems. And run five is four gems. So for getting five stars on a map is 10 gems. Um, there's 55 maps, but two of them don't award any gems, so the training grounds and uh, the gauntlet don't. So that's 53 maps that you can get 10 gems from each map. So that's 530. That's 530 for normal mode, plus another 530 on heroic, and another 530 on legendary. So. Uh, that's 1,590 gems just for running through each map very quickly. Um, I've done that now with Wispy Gems, so he can be deleted. Um, I've got uh, the AMB character is going to replace Wispy Farm. I've noticed that Lily Wisp and Jemmy here haven't finished five starring, so those will be. Uh, going through and doing that process so there's a lot going on there um, I've only just I've not yet done world 4 so on legendary there so there's plenty of gems to be gained that way um, in addition to when you complete story um, as you complete each world and the story on each world you get one daily quest uh, for a grand total over the whole whole lot once the all all the stories complete you'll have five daily quests those reward 20 gems so you can run those five every day that's a hundred gems a day 3,000 gems a month uh, endlessly repeatable what I tend to do when I'm running my five star story mode is to uh, try and leave maps that have that have daily quests on. So, for example, Marcus's village, uh, there's a cleanse the ponds quest there uh, with a load of load of uh, murlocs that you have to kill. That's the best map for doing it. So, if I'm going through five starring, I know that. There are no daily quests on Shores of Hope, so I can run that just five times in a row and move on. And I can do Ruins of the Dead five times. I'll run Marcus's Village once, Road to Andera once, because there's, uh, I think Road to Andera is the one with the apples for the stew or something. Um, Misty Island and out of nowhere, those can be run five times. So it just means that if one of the daily quests pops up, I can pick a character that hasn't completed it on a map and just get a few extra gems as I go along. Um, even though at the end of the day, I'm not getting anything extra out of that, but it just feels slightly more efficient to me that if I'm going to be running daily, that that can count towards the five star as well, rather than running five star and then going back and redoing the map again for dailies there is also in marcus's village um i think i've done this today i think i had cleanser ponds there's this quack at the start he has a quest every single day that awards one gem so 
you can get 30 gems a month I only ever do that quest if I've got cleanser ponds just because if any any long-term players out there will be sick of this map <laughs> having done it so many times um, I'm just trying to think we've done the daily frogs story quest is 140 five star all maps is 1590 daily quest is a hundred and finally our login rewards so if you log in every day and collect I think this adds up to 320 every 28 days so it adds up pretty quickly um, I don't take part in every AMB event either so if I've gone out and splurged 5,000 on gold that's fine because I'm not going to be playing every AMB when we get round to the next cycle of bronze, silver and gold again um, I am going to play bronze but we're going to do an experiment for that one so I don't want any videos coming out of that to be taken as a, a guide or anything it's going to be recording a, a an experiment I'm setting a budget there of a maximum of 1,000 gems at the very start and then anything that I can farm during the event can then go on boosters um, I'll be using ephemeral items until we can craft things as well so it's looking at is there a good way of, of doing it on the cheap and it can be done a lot cheaper than a thousand as well but I want to see how far we can get with just starting out with a thousand gems um, so that's where my gems come from um, if you've got any questions feel free to ask in the comments down below and thanks for watching